so hi everybody and welcome to ages cozy crochet corner we are outside of the corner right now because i've been chilling on my deck and crocheting so that has become my cozy uh crochet corner for the week so i'm gonna come out of that and go in and work on a project for you so i want to show you what i'm working on for you guys uh it's going to be the mosaic granny poncho yeah so it's just uh the mosaic pattern on the uh, border and I did one with it inside as well. So let me get right to that and show you Okay, so these this is what I'm talking about. So we have over here miss Amira and the peaches Kind of subtle one and she has the mosaic just around the borders and Miss Nevea has it around the borders, but I also put it in the inside and the inside um, as well yeah where the white is so um, I wanted to do we're gonna be recreating the one with it just on the border and once you learn how to put it on the border if you would like to you can um, always put it wherever you want to put it um, after that okay so let's get to the table okay okay so before we begin i want to show you i'm using mandolin uh ombre yarn and it is a medium for yarn i will be working it with uh eye hook a 5.5 millimeter hook and what is the color here it's happy so this one is happy i love the color changes in this one and i think it'll work up nice now for our mosaic border I do, this is uh, Karen Simply Soft. This one is white and this one is gray. I have not decided which one I will be using. Um, I'm actually going to leave it up to my daughter to decide which one I'm going to be using. But I'll only use one of them, one or the other, um, for this. So, to work this up, we are simply going to be chaining eight. Now, the way this pattern, I mean, eight, ooh, 80. <laughs> so the way this pattern works up, uh, the pattern works in multiples of eight. So if you want to make this smaller or larger, just increase by eight. That would keep the um, it balanced on either side of the poncho um, past the V point, which you'll see what I mean. It'll keep it balanced. So if you want to go larger or smaller, just use multiples of eight so for this one this size uh we're going to go up chain 80. so let i'm um, a chain 80. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 22, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So I have chain 80. So I have my 80. Now I'm going to make sure that my yarn is not uh, is not um, twisted in any way. And I'm going to join right back into that first first stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch. Actually, pause. I'm going to come out. 
So I want to go behind it and have this in front of it. So I'm going to join right into the first stitch, the first uh, chain that we began with. And I want to put a slip stitch. And that is it. So we have to work back into this chain. Okay? So I'm going to go chain up three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to go back in that stitch. Because I like to go back in that stitch because I don't want to forget about that stitch later on. So I'm going back into here. And we're going to do our first cluster of three right here. Okay, so that's one and two. And this is going to hold for our first cluster of three. Okay, so the same stitch that you uh, slip stitch into, go right back into that. And that is going to begin our first chain. Um, that'll be our first and our row. So now we want to count over three. One, two, and three, and then go into our fourth one. So one, two, three, and then our fourth one. So let's skip all of that. Skip all of that and go back. So that first stitch that we just came out of, I want you to go right back in there so we don't forget about it. And we're going to make a single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And we should have 80 when we get back around, okay? We should have that same 80 that we chained. So, single crochet all the way around. into your into these your foundation chain and at the end you should have 80 Okay, so as soon as you get back around, before you, uh, one, make sure your piece is not tangled. And make sure you count all the way around before you slip stitch into your next, uh, your top here. So you want to go slip stitch into the top of the first one that you completed. Single crochet that you completed. So you're going to go in the top there. Grab your yarn, pull out, and then pull it through the other side. And then you have your completed circle, okay? Your ring. Now we have to give this thing some points so we can start making it look like a poncho. So, chain up one. And into the same hole, this is where we're going to begin to make our first point. So, go into the first hole, the first single crochet you just slip stitched in. And make a double crochet okay. then you're going to yarn over go back into that exact same hole and make another one double crochet and then you're going to go right back again into that hole then make yet another one so at the end you'll have three 
double crochets into this same exact hole. Okay. Then once you did that, we're going to count down four. And in our fourth single crochet, we're going to place another set of three set of double crochets. And I will be calling them clusters from here on out. So one, two, three, and four. So this will be our fourth one. So into the top of our fourth one, we want to place three double crochets. Two. Then three. Now we're going to count down three again. One, two, three. And in that fourth one, we're going to go and make another cluster or three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. So we're going to go to the fourth one. One, two, three, and four. Now into the fourth single crochet, we're going to put another cluster. One, two, and three. Going, skipping one, two, three, and to the fourth one again, you want to place another cluster. One, two, three, and then the fourth one again, another cluster. One. Two and three. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, and four. And so into the fourth one again. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Put another cluster. And these clusters will be the only thing we do until we get to our end border. One, two, three, and then the fourth one. So we want to do this until we get to our halfway point. And we'll be making another V. One, two, three. We'll be uh, putting two clusters into one. And that is how we're going to make all of our points. And we just have two points, one front and one back for this. One, two, three, four. We count one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now we are ready to make what will be a point. So one, two, three, and in the fourth one, we're going to make the same cluster of three. And we're going to chain one and then place another cluster of three into that same stitch. And this is how we're going to make all our points. Okay. 
So after your first cluster, which is half of this corner, you're going to chain one, I mean chain, you're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clusters, and then one cluster, a chain space, and then cluster into here on the opposite side, but into the same hole. So now we just have to do the same thing going back around, skipping one, two, three, and into our fourth one, a cluster of three. Skipping one, two, three, and in the fourth one, cluster of three. One, two, three, and the fourth one, another cluster of three. One, two, three, and then the fourth one. And one, two, three, and then the fourth one, a cluster of three. One, two, three, and then the fourth one again. One, two, three, and then the fourth one, another cluster of three. One, two, three, and the fourth one again. It's a very simple uh, poncho to make. It's going to be simply in these granny squares all the way down until we get to our mosaic border, the three, and then the fourth one. So we get to our mosaic border, and then we'll give it some flair. But I believe these this colorway, the way this color just is going to ripple, I think that's all it needs. So a nice simple design with 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 this yarn, and it's so soft. Um, it's almost like spongy. Like I don't know, my daughter absolutely loves it. So again, one, two, three. Now we're going to make our corner. Our next, well, yeah, I'm calling it a corner, but it's a point. So uh, we're going to go into the same hole in which we started with the first cluster. So. That hole right here, the same hole in which we have the cluster, and we're going to put another cluster. So we will begin every row with half of the point, and we will end that point when we go back around. So here we're just going to chain one, and now you're going to find the top. Of the first one which will be here and make a slip stitch okay and that is our first point here and here so and you see it is even it should be even so that's why I said if you decide to increase this and make it for a larger size at this point, you just put it around the neck. It should fall exactly where you want it. So that is how you would see if you want more or less, depending on what size, by this right here. Because it should sit exactly where you want it to sit on the shoulders. Um, not on the shoulders, but yeah, on the shoulders, actually. It should sit exactly on the shoulders where you would like for it to be. Just like that. Okay. And as you saw from the beginning, this size, it went from a nine-year-old all the way up to a 13-year-old. So it, um, and it, it, it is 
or for a wide variety. Um, for me, I would only put, I believe, eight more into this to make it for my size. Okay, so with all that being said, let us go on. So I just want to state, because when you get to the points, we work our points the same exact way. We go in the point, and we're going to put one, two, three doubles, chain, one, two, three doubles. Everything else will be worked in all these open spaces all the way down. It will grow itself. And how we begin every row is one, two, and three. That counts as one double. Now we're going to go right back into that hole and make another double and make another double. And that is how we will begin each row. And then we're going to work directly into the next hole and make a cluster of three. And working into every single hole with a cluster of three all the way around. This is one of those patterns that you can really sit down and relax to because there's not much thought. You work it into every single hole with a cluster of three and they're very large holes so it's easy it's not easy to miss them at all and with our points we already have the uh, point right below it. So when we get to that, we know we do the exact same thing into there. And we're basically going out as long as we want it to be. I am going to use both of these balls uh, to go around. And then one, not even the whole thing. I don't know whichever color I do use. I don't know how much I'm going to use to go around the borders. We'll deal with that when we get there, but I will use both of these whole things and see how long that gets me. And then I will let you know before you get to the end of your piece. That way you can uh, make it for that size or you'll know what that size looks like and you can go longer if that's what you choose. But this is it. We're just going to keep making clusters. Which is three doubles in every single hole all the way around until we get to our point. Keep losing my yarn. And we are almost to a point right now. And now that we're at a point, see how different that looks from the larger holes. We will go inside the point and make one set cluster. And then we would chain one. And then we would go right back into that hole. And we will make another cluster. Two and three. And here you go. And that's how we keep our corners. Now, if you want your corner hole a little bit bigger, then you can chain two instead of one. I like the one. But if you like, uh, if you want this hole a little bit bigger before you get to it, and have more space to work into, then you can chain two. That is acceptable. Um, it will still look look fine. I just prefer the one. And then we're going to keep going around till we get back to the top. And putting in our three clusters. And I'm anticipating the color change. It's it's going to happen soon. I don't know when. It just pops up and it's like, oh, new color. So I can't wait. 
the next color that will pop in. It looks like it's going to be a blue. And I've used this, as you saw um, before, but it was more of a lighter color. This one's way more vibrant and poppy. <laughs> I love it. It just pops. So I can't wait to see what it looks like all worked up. This is the first time I've used... You, this is the first time that I've used this yarn to make anything. And I fell in love with it. First, I fell in love with the Harmony, which is like a jean type of pattern. Um, it's, it's like all kinds of jeans. Denims in all shades. And I don't remember the color of the other one I used, but I used another one and I just really, really like it. It's, it's all, it's, 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 it's hard to explain. I, I haven't met another yarn that feels like this one, particular one does. And I really like it. So if you have used this one or Harmony, this is Happy, Harmony, and I really can't remember the color of the other one that I've shown you. But if you've used these yarns before, write in the comment section and tell me if you know of any other yarns that, that feel with the same texture. Because I, I would like to try some more colors. Alright, so we are back around to our point. Let's see here. And I want to go right back into this hole to finish off this point. So I'm going to go back into this hole and make a cluster. And then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to find the top of this first chain three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to go inside the top of that chain three grab my yarn come through and then come through this hole chain up one two and three and i'm going to go into this hole so once i chain through i'm going right back into that hole one, two more times because i chain three again counts as a double and now I'm going to go into my next large hole. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to go in my next hole. One, two, and three. So I'm going to keep making clusters of three all the way around till I get to my next point. Let me show you one more time what we do on that point. And as you can see, it is totally growing all by itself. You don't have to do anything, but just keep going inside every big hole with a cluster of three. And carry out your points, and it will just get larger all by itself.
So I am coming back around to my next point. And again, you can see our points. <clears throat> Very noticeable from our regular holes. So once we get to the point, we're going to do the same thing which we see below. We're going to go in and put a cluster of three into the same hole. Oh, it chain one and then go right back into their same hole with another cluster of three. Find your next big hole, it's right there, and go into that. And make your cluster in there. And move right along. Find your next hole. And make your cluster there. And we'll keep going on and I'll show you how to end your point and I feel the color change coming Just waiting for that color to pop out so they're all blue And three. Here comes the color changes. And we're almost back around to our point. And it's a perfect timing. Now we are back at our point so remember we're going to go right back in this hole and finish this point so all we have to do is put a, a cluster of three and a chain in here because we already have our one cluster from the beginning so the chain one and now we will find the top to this chain three so one two and three and we'll go through there, grab our yarn, come back through the hole, and then go through this hole. And chain up one, two, three. And we'll open this back up and we're going right back into this hole and put in two more double crochets. And then we'll simply move back around to our holes and keep working in our holes till we get to the next point. So keep going out. I will come back in and tell you how many rows I wind up working out with both of these because I want to do both of these for this one and see how long that turns out. So I will come back in and tell you how many rows I worked up until I got to my end. And I'll measure it all up and tell you how long that is. And I will see you back like magic in a couple seconds. So here you have our finished work. And it measures from point to point. 22 inches. So it's 22 inches and all together in total this is 31 
uh, rows of the granny cluster. So this in total, 31 rows, and it is 22 inches. And believe it or not, I made it to my end with this much to spare out of the two uh, two rolls that I had. So when you get to the end, all you're doing is going and slipping through and then pulling it tight. So as you see, this is what roundabout with two of those mandolin uh, cakes will get you. Uh, you, if you're going for a larger size, you would definitely need more. But this is so beautiful. My daughter loves it. And she decided on the border color. She said, I want to make it gray. Because she was like, it's too much. She wanted to keep it almost muted. I think the white would make it pop more. But it's popping all by itself. So she decided to go with the gray. So now I'm going to show you how to put the mosaic border around this piece now it works in the exact same way as the granny square as the granny uh stitch and it works the same way as the granny stitch the only thing that's different is the middle double crochet is caught in the pre in the row below it so let's go over that and i think we're going to put about three rows of that on so let's go over that and I'll show you how to do one row and you can carry on and make as many rows as you would like to from that. Okay. So we're going to add our yarn. And we're going to work where we end it. It's all of our, uh, Stitches seem to be floating in the back. So I'm just going to go on and I'm going to start and make a double crochet. So then I'm going to go and make another double crochet. And once again, another do double crochet. Now because our corners are don't really have anything below us, I will not be doing it into the corners. Now I'm going to weave in on my end. So I'm not going to work over that end because we have a space here. So if I was a weave over the end, you would see it here, be, oh, right here. You know, like that, you see that line because I'm not uh, crocheting again till here. So just as we have been doing, we're going to go into the next cluster and we're going to make a double crochet here and then we're going to yarn over and instead of going back in here we're going to go around the middle one from the row below so I'm going to go behind that grab my yarn pull it out and make my double and then I'm going right back into the hole in which I normally would be going in at the top. So the only thing you're doing different is that middle double crochet. You're coming down and grabbing the middle double crochet from the next row. So let's do another one. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make my double crochet as always. Then I'm going to go and Go around this one right here and make a double crochet it's gonna and now I'm gonna go back into my regular hole and make a double crochet there we go again so you see we go into the hole that we normally would go in we go down for the middle part to this one, and then we would come back up and go back into our hole. And that's all it is. Now, like I said, because the corners don't have, these have uh, something directly underneath it, 
because the corners don't have anything directly underneath it will not be working the mosaic stitch into the corner so going to double crochet yarn over going behind the middle one from the row below and making a double and then come back up and make my last double so you're just going to do this around as many times as you want to mind you come back down go through there everything else stays the same your and i said corners i mean points your points are um, going to stay the same will not be working this stitch into uh, the points and how you begin a row is the same the only difference is on the large holes pockets around you will be doing this going to the row below going into that middle one and making a double crochet and then going back into the hole at the top It adds a dramatic flair, and it's very, very simple. And I think I like the gray for this one. So there we go. One double crochet. Go down. Make our double crochet around there, and come back up. And this is literally all we're going to do all um row i think i'm doing three rows of this before i pause but then i mean i'm gonna look at it and i'm gonna see maybe i want to do more i don't know Down, go around that middle one. And go back up. And that is it. Now, um, I did not show you here. But another way that I make uh, these... Scratch that part right there. Pause. Okay, so once we put our three in the corner, we're going to go right back into the hole we normally would go in and make a double. Now, in order to reach from here, all the way down here comfortably and beautifully we're going to be making treble stitches so if you never made a treble stitch before you yarn over two times and then you go around that post grab your yarn come back up and then you'll be taking off two then you'll take off two more and then you'll take off your final two and then you're going to go back up here through the hole we normally work in and make a double okay so that's how that first one should look it should be double come down grab the double from the middle of the previous row and then double so we'll do the same thing here and we'll be grabbing this stitch right here because it's directly below so going here, we're going to first make our double, yarn over two times, and we're going to go around this post. Grab it, take off two, take off two again, and take off two again. And then we're going to make our double right back up here in this hole. Let's do another one. 
So we're going to go into this hole and make our double. Yarn over two times. This would be the uh, one we're working with. It's directly below and it's in the middle. And we're going to take off two. Take off two more. And take off the last two. And then make our double like we normally would. Let's see how that looks. And that is it. All our points, our points will just get what our points normally get three double crochets chain one three double crochets because there's nothing directly below our points so there's nothing for me to grab so that's why i will not be doing it in our point um and everything else will be the same except for we're making a treble stitch into the double crochet uh, the double crochet from the row right below so it's right below it so here if we look at this one we're working into this one here we're working into this one this one it's going to be the one right below so let's do a couple more of them double crochet into the hole yarn over two times go into the hole you're going to take off two Take off two again and take off your final two. Yarn over and go back through this hole. Make a double. So let's go to the next one. Double crochet into the hole. Yarn over two times. Treble into the one below it. And double crochet back into that so, oh, slipped off so double crochet and two times treble and double crochet now i'm probably going to do this i think for three rows of this we begin and end um each row in the exact same way again each point is just going to be like we've done our previous points this is going to be the only difference here to bring down that middle one on these areas so i think i'm going to do three rows of this do as many rows as you need to to get to uh the size that you would desire for your body portion to be and let's come back and see how this turned out okay so everyone so i'm going around my piece um working up and i got to my corner and i did something automatic without even thinking about it so i went into my point on the opposite end from where we begin and i uh double crocheted made my treble and i actually caught it in into this piece right here so i'm gonna take it out and show you so if you would like to uh do that you can i i did it just not even trying to do it i just um it was just kind of like an automatic thing uh because that's how i work particular things up and so let me just pause and show you how to do that if you would like to put that in your corners let me take this out and we show you how i did that like i said i did this in my corner without even thinking about it and this is how i would do all my blankets but it was like oh yeah that would look nice here too so into your point you're going to uh place your double crochet yarn over two times and now right here around here from the previous row do that again this is what you're going to treble on okay and then you're just going to go back up and make your double right there chain one and then we're going to go back in here and just place a double 
and then we're going to work right back around that same piece grab a yarn and we're going to treble around that one two three um now we're going to go right back into the uh point And it's funny because I actually, when I uh, I paused and I looked at the other <laughs> the other uh, ones that I've done, that is actually what I did in those points as well. So, yeah. So you can do that one, or you can do the the plain corner with the just three and three, or you can do that corner if you would like. I just said, oh wow, I I didn't even think about it. So on my opposite end where I already have that because that's the back I will leave that on that row um, and end it just in the three double crochets on the other point on the opposite end I'm about to connect back to but then when I go on my next round I'll do those points on both sides Um, so now we're just going back down to our opposite end and I'm going to go back and show you how to end it and show you your placement for your next row just to make sure you got it all and I'll see you in a few minutes okay so now I have come back around to my not so fancy um, beginning so we're going to go back in here and make three doubles now if you have done the fancier point then you would do that here and we're going to transform that one into a fancy point um chain one as always and slip stitch into the top there okay so now we're going to chain up one two and three Holds the place as the first double. So now we're going to make our fancy point. We're going to yarn over two times, go in this hole, and you see that we're going right there. Okay. Make our treble. Yarn over and going back into the regular space in the corner. I mean, corner. Point. And making our double okay. and when we come back around we'll just finish that and we're just going to keep going on i wanted to come back and also to show you your placement for this row again you will always be working in the row right below so you find your center double crochet and you place your treble right around it Hmm. And keep on going. Find your one right below you. And place your treble in that center one. So now you see where your placement is for this row. And pause. So you see where your placement is. Now we're going. On these ones in between so when we come back up to the third row if you're making a third row your next set will go into this hole and then obviously you will be wrapping around this treble stitch will be for this hole okay just want to make sure you see that so we're creating another hole here put our double here put our treble And double back into the hole. You see we created another hole here. When we get to our third row, we'll be placing a cluster right above, right here. And this will be what we work on for that row. So it's, it's what's immediately below. Okay, so now that you 
gotten your fancy corners now because I've had my coffee and I've got it in together and you know where to place uh, properly on your second row and further out. Um, I'm going to let you go at it. I'm going to make at least three rows. We'll see if I want to make more and let's find us a model who is eager to put this on and show it to you. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to bring Brianna in to show that the same 80 around the neck that would fit Amira and Nevaeh still fits uh, Brianna too. So if you would like it, you all would have to do is probably put a little bit more height on it if you would like a little bit more height or if you like the size. So I wanted to bring Brianna in to show a little bit uh, that this uh, size around the neck really does fit a large variety of ages so how about we get our our new one in here so this is our finished product this is what we went to the uh table with and i think it came out beautiful yes the back show up be back so yeah this really came out really really pretty you like it the gray was spot on i did not pick the gray i cannot take um i can't take credit for that she picked the gray she said gray and gray did it so that was a definite so again i hope you like these um these are cute they're cute so so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i had fun bringing it to you um i'm loving the mosaic um border around the edges and if you like this video like it uh, subscribe um, ring the notification bell that way you'll get alerted when I post new videos and it's been fun see you next time on ages cozy crochet corner